Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's Pick A Card Reading and it is your favourite, his current thoughts, everyone's favourite. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to anyone new, welcome back to anyone returning. I hope you are doing great today. Remember guys, today's reading is intuitive in general, so if some of the messages don't resonate, don't worry about it, just take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Um, if you'd like a private reading with me, you can check the description below, there's a link there to do that. I don't think I want to say anything else other than I hope you enjoy the reading let's get on with it today his current thoughts hi group one or whoever chose this orange stone i hope you're doing great today so let's have a look at his current thoughts this week we've got the king of swords we've got strength we've got the six of coins we've got the nine of coins we've got the two of coins loads of coin energy here this is a very practical guy this is someone who's being very practical as well. Um, dreams coming true and change of focus. So his current thoughts, he's very, very focused on the practicalities of the situation. He's being very realistic, very uh, down to earth about it. Um, I, even though he's the king of swords, so he could be an air sign, I feel more like he is more earthy. So it could be that he's an earth sign and he's really thinking about it, for example. But it doesn't have to be. Um, but he is being very practical and pragmatic at this time. Very, very, very focused on the practical, very, very focused on um, being logical about the situation. Um, he's trying to show strength and be brave in a situation. We've got the strength card here. He's having to overcome his inner um emotions and he uh, he's trying to be wise he's trying to balance himself he's trying to um be brave and go through some difficult feelings emotions he's trying to stay grounded um he i feel like for some of you he's going through a really difficult time for some of you something good is happening with you guys um so it, it almost goes into two camps here but the the energy is still the same he's trying to stay focused trying to take it one step at a time trying not to get ahead of himself trying not to lose his head in a good way or a bad way depending on which you know which situation you fall into here um he he's trying to change his focus he's still grieving a past situation he's still caught up in the old pain of an old situation so his current thoughts are that he he does have very uh it looks like he has romantic feelings for you here look dreams coming true this is the nine of cups so this is which is being fulfilled happiness joy and all of that so we do think his thoughts are on that he is very aware of that but he he doesn't want to get overwhelmed. He's trying to stay grounded. He's trying to stay balanced. This in the middle is all about trying to stay grounded and balanced. He feels very overwhelmed. He doesn't want to be overwhelmed in the situation. Caesar coins, he wants everything to be equal and even. He wants balance, but also he wants um, an equal exchange between you guys. Um, nine of coins, he could be getting stuck in his old ways and habits. Um, there's a, a bit of a refusal here to move on from the past and old ways of being. Um, but it's more about safety and security. He doesn't want to get overwhelmed. He doesn't want to get flooded uh, by emotions. He feels like everything is a little bit more than he can cope with. His thoughts are, yes, the romance is there. Yes, the emotion's there. He's trying to stay, be brave in the situation, but he actually feels overwhelmed by it. He's trying to stay in balance. Um... He's trying to do the best that he can. This will pass. This overwhelmed situation will pass. Uh, the emotion is definitely there and he is trying to be brave. That is a massively positive thing this week. He is focusing on that and he is trying to change his focus from the past to the future. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love. I'll see you on the next reading or in a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group two. Did you hear my pause while I was thinking, which one was the next group? <laughs> which stone? I think I got it right today. I didn't get it right on Monday, but it was too late. By the time I realised, the time had passed. So this is his current thoughts. We've got uh, two of wands. So this is for this week. Two of wands, king of coins. 
the chariot, the fountain, double coin card here, seven of coins followed by eight of coins. Interesting, very interesting. Group one was very coiny as well. You know, you've got king of coins, eight of coins, seven of coins. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it could be a general energy around at the minute of being quite practical, quite down to earth. It may be because it's the start of the year, you know, trying to be very realistic about things maybe the state of the world as well at the minute <laughs> um interesting uh, so his current thoughts he's having some big dreams and plans though he's thinking about how he could um get past problems he's wanting to uh, the two of coin two of ones is like having big ideas and plans and dreams his current thoughts are that he's thinking long, uh, thinking of long-term plans. He's trying to go beyond the old way. King of Coins, this is husband partner energy. So he's thinking long-term. He's thinking committed. This is someone who's slow moving, but is very committed. Someone who really does want that uh, togetherness. He's looking with the chariot to move past obstacles to get there. There are a lot of things in his way at this time, but he wants to get beyond them. Some of the problem that he's having is that he feels kind of stuck and it's this fountain energy with all this coin energy around him. He needs to go to a higher level. He needs to have um, tap into a higher energy if he's able to access these um, solutions. Um, he feels a little stuck. He feels like he's taking too much notice of the obstacles around him. He's thinking, oh, there's all this stuff in the way. How am I going to get around it? Um, he's been almost a little too practical. The, the Seven of Coins is saying that he's pausing and waiting and, and uh, he he's taking his time over the situation to come forward or to go to the next level because he's trying to think of how to... Um, he's trying to think of how to solve the problems um, and how he can... Um, cope with the problems deal with the problems but actually the answer is to just move to a higher level and then the inspiration and the solutions will come to him but he's trying to do all of the work himself that's why it's taken a long time that's why it's slow he does have big dreams he is pl making big plans but because he's trying to do it all himself it's very slow so he really needs to tap into this fountain energy, but it's not there. He, he, he's, he's kind of doing it all himself, but he's noble, right? He wants to make things better. He wants to improve things. Uh, dedicated effort, the eight of coins. He wants to improve himself. He wants to uh, be fit for the task. You know, he wants to step up and do what he needs to do to improve the situation. Um, so this is what he's current thoughts are but it would be helpful for him if he would tune into a higher energy it would make everything much quicker um because the fountain is actually here i do wonder whether this is starting to dawn on him yeah i think maybe this is part of this because he is very inspired but he's just getting caught up in trying to solve it but i think that probably with yeah they're saying yes the fountain is starting to dawn on him that he doesn't have to do it all himself that he can be helped so his current thoughts are, are shifting we're kind of on a, a shifting point at this moment so maybe if we were doing this reading in a couple more days he would be more inspired and he would be listening more to higher energy so this is a very good sign for you that he is starting to and um, the, the intention is there and that things may speed up if he can just tune into a higher level energy and allow the universe to offer solutions. Hope this makes sense. Loads of love. I'll see you on the next reading on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, guys. How are you doing? So um, this is a group three or the white stone. I've got four John two john holland psychic tower of the heart four um fountain tarot and this is his current thoughts we've got the ten of coins eight of coins sorry ten of cups eight of coins two of cups seven of wands five of swords and the world which is win or lose and embrace okay his current thoughts are very 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 good very 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 romance based if you have any concerns about whether this person is into you or in, has good intentions towards you then it looks like you have nothing to worry about here of course 
do bear in mind it's general so sometimes this can be a mispick or not every single person this will be the case but for most of you this is a confirmation that you know he is he is thinking romantically about you um the two of cups this could be a divine love connection Ten of Cups, this is happily ever after. So his thoughts are, how can he move towards happily ever after? How can he get the situation that he wants? Um, how can he create a harmonious, happy, fulfilling situation with you? He, His thoughts are that he needs to work on himself. Eight of Coins, he needs to uh, learn something, work on something. There's something he only he can do. This could be about dealing with an old wound or a, an old partner or even in one or two cases, a current partner. He needs to work this out himself. Um, win or lose here, he, he, there's something that he's currently doing that isn't working. It's not getting him where he wants to be. He needs to accept defeat. He needs to walk away from something. He needs to end something. I don't feel this is with you. I think this is an old addiction, an old relationship uh, or an old ghost of a relationship that needs to be, you know, um, left now. But it, it somehow is making him feel like a failure or it will he will have to swallow his pride or just let something go. Seven of Wands is saying that he has to listen to what's in his heart. He's he's kind of. He's got this feeling that like with the win or lose, he can't win and he feels frustrated by this, but he ha in his heart, he knows that he's got to stop listening to the other people or stop beating the drum of the old situation, right? Um, he could have, he feels like he's got a lot of naysayers or people around him that are telling him what to do and it's not really in line with what he wants. He feels very connected to you on a soul level. He wants to move forward. He wants to success the world is the best card in the deck it's moving to the next level here you've got it all um you've got it all here because you've got uh, ten of cups two of cups the world this is high level energy this is moving to the next level this is uh so so good um so his thoughts and feelings intentions are so good but there's some sort of snag here there's he feels like he's going to have to do something that maybe other people will argue against or disagree with. Um, and it's going to take a lot of courage and, and self-awareness and self-mastery to move beyond those things and moving through some obstacles in the outside world. But when he gets there, you know, he he knows that it's worth it because with the world in the final position, it's like this will feel like success for him. This will feel like he's made it. And that's where he's trying to go. He's trying to think about how can he solve this situation? How can he move forwards? And his current thoughts about you are very, very, very good. So loads of love, guys. I hope to see you on the next reading. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.